Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I am going to explain you about the differences between operational database and data warehouse in the subject of data warehouse and data mining. So this is the second video related to the subject and uh, we can also say the differences between OLTP and OLAP. Okay, operational database is also called as OLTP, online transaction processing online transaction processing okay and uh, data warehouse you can also say it as olap online analytical processing okay so now in this video let's try to understand the differences between operational database and data warehouse before getting into the video let me tell you something if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and share it with your friends and uh, apart from uh, data warehouse and data mining, I also made videos related to information security, operating systems, managerial economics and financial analysis, web technologies and also some placement related videos. So if you want to access to those videos, have a look at my channel and uh, like you know, if you want to access them, you can have a look at them also. So now uh, let's quickly get into the video. Operational database is also called as OLTP that is what I already said so in operational database we do day to day data processing is done so if that uh, suppose today is on the day I am making video the date is 30 January 2021 so whatever the data is related to today is processed right not the data which is related to uh, you know Historical data means I already said what is historical data in previous video, right? So historical processing means related to uh, th one month back, three months back, six months back, 12 months back. So all those, uh, you know, previously completed data also you can process in data warehouse. Whereas in database only day to day processing is done. Done. So next is this database is used by DBA. DBA means database administrators, right? Whereas this data warehouse is used by data analyst because we will have, uh, you know, um, historical data, right? Data related to previous times also. A long back data also we have with us. So using that data, we can analyze about the business statistics. So that is why it is used by the data analyst. And this is used by the database administrator, right? And it focuses on information in. It focuses on information out. So I'll tell you what is information in and what is information out. Don't worry. So database focuses on information in information in means the information uh, like which information should be taken, which information we should consider. So it will focus on those kind of information focuses on information out, which kind of information should be published out, which kind of information should be given out, right? It, uh, it focuses on those things. And the next one is our database is based on er model you know what is er model right entity relationship model whereas our data warehouse is based on schema what do you mean by schema schema is nothing but a structural representation we can say so data warehouse is more of based on schema which is nothing but the structural relationship okay here in database we have three types of schemas we have star schema we have a snowflake schema and we also have fact constellation schema I'll explain about these things also separately in the next video. Don't worry. And next, next point is detailed and flat relational view of data. So it will give the detailed and also flat view of the data. Whereas data warehouse will give the multi-dimensional view of the data. That means the data will be seen from all the sides. Uh, what do you mean by multi-dimensional view? You will also you'll be learning in the next coming videos. But just remember that you, data will be seen from all the angles, right? Next. And in database, you will be storing only tens of data, tens numbers of data. That means you'll store um, 10 units of data or 20 units of data like that. Whereas in database, you'll store a lot. Uh, sorry. sorry. In data warehouse you will store a large amount of data it may also like extend up to millions you may also store some millions of data in the data warehouse whereas in the database you will store only uh, 10 units of tens units of data right so we have some more differences let's see them also next operational database is used to run the business because in operational database we will have day-to-day -day data right so it is used to run the business and it is used to analyze the business we, because we have historical data here 
so based on the previous data we can analyze the uh, today's data like uh, from yesterday whether it's today a profit or its loss or compared to last month what happened compared to last year what happened so all those analysis part can be done in the data warehouse because here we have historical data that is not possible in operational database because here we are having day to day data okay and here we will have primitive and detailed data what do you mean by detailed data everything will be there what happened today uh, so today what is the profit what is the loss that means uh, which factors contributed to the profit which factors contributed to loss everything you'll have detailed data but whereas in data warehouse you'll have summarized data it will just sh uh, show you uh, what is the profit or what is the loss for example i'm saying not it, it does not happen in all the times you uh, have to not keep profit and loss in mind just for understanding purpose i'm saying about profit and loss that's all okay so so it will just say whether it was profit or whether it was loss and by how much it will not say what are the factors contributing to it and what are the reasons it will not say all those things it will just say profit or loss so it will give us the summarized data whereas in operational database we will be getting the detailed data okay and the size of operational database will vary from 1 to 100 gb whereas the size of uh, data warehouse is more than 100 gigabytes it may also extend up to terabytes as well okay because we store a lot of data in data warehouse and here in operational database the performance is very high in data warehouse the flexibility is very high okay performance is very high as we are having only very less amount of data we can easily uh, take the data and we can easily perform our operations our required operations right and in data warehouse the flexibility is very high okay so this is all the differences between the operational database and also data warehouse uh, i'll just brief out an operational database uh, which is nothing but oltp operational data warehouse is olap here uh, i'll just tell about operational database you can uh, you know um, relate it to the data warehouse by assuming the reverse things right so in operational database we do day-to-day -day processing it is used by database administrators it focuses on the information in it is based on er model it is a detailed and flat relational view of data accessed among tens it is used to run the business as it is having day-to-day -day data it is detailed information about the data whereas data warehouse is summarized information about the data and here we have high performance and the size is 1 to 100 GB in operational database in data warehouse we have more than 100 GB okay next uh, so yeah that's all and I said here the flexibility is high in data warehouse because um, you know suppose you are having the data related to 10 years 10 years ago data you're having in that case even if one week or two weeks data or one day data is missing also nothing will happen because on an average it will be covered in up right so flexibility is very high in case of data warehouse so that's it for this video guys i hope the video was useful for you if uh, you like the video that means you understood clearly whatever i've explained hit the like button and share it with your friends so that even your friends can also um, make use of the video for their exams and let me know in the comment section whether it was understand like whether you guys were able to understand what i explained or not because your comments value a lot for me i can know what you guys are feeling about the video so if i have to make any improvements or any uh, changes in my explanation i can do that and the next video will be about the etl processing data warehouse etl is nothing but extract transform and load so i'll explain about ets process etl process in data warehouse okay so that's all for this video guys and thank you for your patience towards the video let's meet up soon in the next video and hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icons so that you can receive notifications whenever I, up whenever I upload a video and thank you for watching the video let's meet up soon in the next video stay tuned to my channel